night of the Tuesday Show Comedy at the Brass Door downtown. So my kitchen looks like she left for a good reason right now? I tell you, I came home one day. This is true, this is a true story. I came home and I saw like a horde of flies, like 15 to 20 flies. When you see that many flies, shit is going down. It looked like Moses was real and God was pissed that I was sharing all those Kim Davis memes. He was really angry. But what, ended up, what really happened was I had a dish and I needed to let it soak for like one to two weeks. And by dish, I mean all of my dishes. And then one time I just saw these, all these flies. And you ever seen a fly that's so fat and healthy, you can hear it flying when it's not around your ear? It's like, like a drunk Hindenburg. Like all you gotta do is blow on it to throw it off its trajectory. Oh, oh man, I can't wait to show my friends how good at Kung Fu I am. Like, catching a fly is somehow indicative of the fact that you can karate chop somebody in the throat. I've watched people with bowl cuts get lucky catching a fly, okay? That's all I'm saying. But I was thinking at this moment, I was like, all right, what do I do with all these flies? What do I do with these flies? Now, the Buddhist in me said, Ross, these, flu these flies are alive just like you. They're entitled to life and good karma says you just leave them alone. I was like, okay, thank you, Buddha Ross. The Muslim in me said, well, they're on a journey, and you have to give them safe passage on their journey so they get to their destination. You didn't know about the, about the pillars of Islam, did you? Yeah, you thought I was gonna strap a bomb to me and blow them all up. Yeah, there's more to Islam than what's on Fox News, trust me. Now the Christian in me said, these flies better not be gay. Now, the American in me looked at all the flies, looked across the hallway at the fly swatter, looked at the flies and said, Kill them all and God sort them out! My name's Ross, appreciate you. Thank you very much. <laughs>